So let's have a look at type 4. Again, the question remains the same. If the question remains the same, then what are the differences in type 1, type 2, type 3, and type 3? So let's have a look for it. Initial check all the coefficients should be positive. Is it positive? Yes. The power should be in decreasing form 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Power of S. Third, either the power is an even or odd? No. So, no equal to that. So, now let's divide the above equation into two parts. Even powers and odd powers. For even, write the terms S is to 6. Plus 8 s to 4 plus 17 s square plus 4. Odd powers it will be 3 s to 5 plus 15 s cube plus 12 s. After getting both the terms, decide which power is greater. So m of s is greater than m of s. That means we will be dividing m of s with respect to m of s. So let's divide the term, my dear friends. So you get s s to 6 plus 8 s s to 4 plus 17 s square plus 4. So next will be 3 s s to 5. Plus 17, 15 s cube plus 12. Again, it is a continuous division. Let's set the pi. The highest term should be divided by this highest term. So, when you divide this term, my dear friends, you get s by 3. So, s by 3 should be multiplied with each and every term. So, after multiplying it, you get s to 6 plus 5 s to 4 plus 4 s square. Change the sign, my dear friends. Simplify this, we get cancel. So, ultimately, the value which you get after simplifying it, which will be this value 13 s square plus 4. So, since the term says a continuous division, so I have to shift this side. So, this term will be 3 s to 5, it will be 15 s cube, which is going to be 12 s. Again, the same logic. The highest term over here should be divided by this highest term. The value which I get is s. If I multiply this term, my dear friends, I get 3s to 5 plus 13s square plus 4s. Change the sign, my dear friends. The value which you get is 2s cube plus 8s. Again, it says a continuous division, my dear friends. Move it further. So the term which you get is 3s to 4 plus 14 s square plus 4. A continuous division, the highest term should be divided by this highest term. The term which I get is 3 by 2 s. That means 3 by 2 s should be multiplied with both the terms to get the value. If I multiply with both the terms, my dear friends, I have a value which I get is 3 s to 4 plus 12 s square 0. Change the sign. If I change the sign my difference, I get s square plus 4. Continuous division shift should be in front. 2s cube plus 8s. Again, divide this with this term, my difference. So I get 2s. So multiply 2s with both the terms. So I get 2s cube plus 8s. Change the sign. I got a value of 0. But the logic says I need to get the value of 0 at the end. So we got it. So now that check, is it the equation for which or not? Two conditions. All coefficient positive, 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 positive. What was the highest power and coefficient? Six. So one, two, three, four. So the power should be equal to number of coefficients. So here our uh, the highest power is six. The coefficient you are getting is only four. So at this moment, it cannot be computed that it is not this amount. So we yeah, need to solve it much further. How to solve it much further, my dear friends? Let's observe. 
the term where it was zero that was s square plus four by using this term i got it zero right my dear friends so i need to multiply this term with the term which i started with it. so if i multiply this both the term my dear friends i'll be getting my main equation that's a lot so what i do it my dear friends i write this equation equal to multiplication of both the terms so in short for this equation i have two separate equations so i need to check this separately and this equation separately that if this both are hurwitz then i can say this equation will be a hurwitz equation so let's write the equation my dear friends so the equation will be written as s is to 6 plus 8s is to 4 plus 17s square plus 4 equal to will be 3 will be equal to the, uh, the computed step will be equal to s square plus 4 and the point arises what should be the term over here to get this term my dear friend I need to divide this by this equation. So this division won't be a continuous division. It will be a normal division for t division. Okay, so let's to get this value, I need to divide with this with this. To divide it, this will be s square plus four. This will be six plus eight s plus to four plus seventeen s square plus four. A normal division. Highest term with this term, so I'll be getting s is to 4. Multiply 6, 4s to 4. Sign change, this will be 4s to 4 plus 17s square plus 4. Again, highest term with this, so it will be 2s square. So multiply 2s to 4, so this will be plus 2 into this, this will be 8s square. Sign change. This will be if I divide with this, I'll be getting 4 s square. So again, I'll be getting 4 over here. This will be get cancelled. 4 4, I'll be getting 16. So this will be s square plus 4. Okay. Divide this with this, so I'll be getting plus 1. Right, my dear friends? So after getting a plus 1. The value which I got it over here is highest term. This with this, this is a 4. Multiplication of this, I got this term, my dear friends. Simplify it, I got 4 s to 4. Divide with this term, I got 4 s square. 4 s square divide with this, multiply, I got this term, my dear friends. Simplifying it, I got s square plus 4. So again, divide this term with this. So I got 1. So if I multiply, I'll be getting s square plus 4 change the sign i'll be getting a value as by getting a value as 0 my dear friends the logic says i need to divide the term with the main equation so guys uh i need to split this term into two sub, sub equations so that i can check individually if there are habits or not since this was not a habits so I need to check it much further. So to obtain the second part, this part which you got where the term ended at zero. So I need to get the second part which I multiply this both the term, I should be getting this answer. To get the second term, my dear friends, I need to divide this term with the original equation. So I'll be getting s is to 4, multiply with this 6, multiply, so I'll be getting 4 s is to 4. Should be below the same power term. Change the equation which I get, my dear friends, is 3 s is to 5 plus 4 s is to 4 plus 15 s to plus 17 s square plus 12 s plus 2. Again, the highest term with this term that will be 3 s to multiply with this so it will be 3 s is to 5. It will be 12 s cube. So it will be shifting below s cube. Now. Change the sign. We get 4 s to 4 
Let's start with the topic number five. Top five, five for network. 